So in the last video, you learned how to add a new menu item to the action bar, like this one. Let's look at a couple of methods uh, I mentioned in the last video, which are related to the menu action, you know, menu items. So if you want to create, if you want to add new menu items uh, to the action bar, then you need to override a couple of methods in your activity class. Uh, one is the on create options menu. Now this method is overridden so that when the action bar loads, when your app loads, then all the all the menu items which are defined in the menu main XML file uh, gets inflated. Okay, so that's the first method we need to override. The second method is on options item selected, and this this method actually handles the action bar item clicks. Okay. So what, uh, so in order to understand this better, so we have, uh, we have this action settings item in our menu XML and we want to check what happens when, when a user clicks on this. So when a user clicks on this, it comes to this method, okay? And in this method, you have this parameter menu item. Okay? And from this parameter, you can get the item ID which was clicked. And then it's pretty straightforward. You can just you know check what value the ID has like for example if it's like action settings um, I have added a toast which will display okay settings clicked so let's see this in action <clears throat> so I have the app running okay and when I click on this the expected behavior is to see a toast message so let's see what happens okay so we see the message here <clears throat> so this is the way um, this is the way it works you need to override a couple of methods. <clears throat> One is for loading the menu items and other is for handling the clicks. So I hope you get an idea. Uh, go ahead and you know play around with this and I'll catch you in the next lecture.